Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Dan. And we are back uh, with more Battle Report action. Uh, the fans asked for it, Dan, uh, so we brought it. Yes. This is Battletech Override. Ooh. Uh, so what is Battletech Override, you ask? Great question. This is the best, most critically acclaimed set of house rules uh, known to mankind. So this is a system that we developed that was formerly called Battletech Destiny, but because of the, you know, Mech Warrior Destiny, which it was derived from, we decided to change the name to give it a little bit more separation. We stripped a lot of the uh, sort of character-centric skills out of the system. We streamlined it. We added some new weapons. Um, we tried to bring it a little bit closer to classic in the sense that the ticks no longer do tons of damage. The heads are actually a little bit more armored. Um, and there's some other fun mechanics. So, for example, the only way I can head cap you in a single shot, Dan, is with like an AC-20 or a Gauss rifle or something like that. You can't just group tons of medium lasers together anymore to take off somebody's head. There's no more edge um, because I had too many panic attacks from, from Tom, using, <laughs> Tom using edge. Um, but generally, it's the, same, it's the same thing. And really what it is is a blend of, you know, Alpha Strike uh, and all the movement is from Alpha Strike. And then the combat system is from Destiny. The modifiers look like classic. The locations look like classic. Um, so there's a lot of similarities there. Now, if you guys have not seen it yet, uh, you can get the rules for free on our website uh, and access the card builder on our website for free as well. Um, so, Dan, tonight. Yes. So it's, it's an exciting battle. It is. Uh, it's the Kentucky Chargers. They're back in action. Yes. Uh, on the planet of Amnesty. Uh, they're hired for a little, uh, like, garrison defense here. Okay. Um, and there are, of course, pirates in the system. That's me. Uh, and we have come to on this amnesty, planet. Huh? Yeah, on amnesty. We're flying <laughs> in, uh, and we are gonna, we're going to try to take some stuff uh, from this world. But we're doing a very simple sort of intro mission. Uh, we each have two mechs and two vehicles. Uh, it's just a pitched battle, so we're just going to slug it out uh, and, uh, and run this system through the ringer. Are you ready, sir? I'm ready, sir. All right. Well, we are going to, since I'm the attacker, oh, okay. uh, you got to pick side. Okay. And that means you will you will move on first, so you will deploy first. Okay. And then we will get into shooting if there's any such thing uh, happening. So, guys, stick around. We'll be right back after turn one movement. All right, we are back. It is uh, after movement here. Now, uh, similar to classic, uh, and, and actually Alpha Strike Commander's Edition, right? Use different colored dice to denote. Yeah the movement in the TMM. So white is your standard move, yellow is for sprinting. Uh, when units sprint, they cannot shoot, just like an Alpha Strike. Uh, there is an optional rule, run and gun, if you so desire, which we drew out of Alpha Strike and, and we have an override. Uh, if you wanted to, you could shoot on the sprint, but we don't play that way. Um, I think it makes the gameplay a little bit faster. Um, and then if you jump, you use red dice. So. Everybody sprinted, Dan. Yes. Uh, I'll tell you what I did here. Um, I've, so, hovercraft can move freely over water, so they're zipping up. Uh, yes, I said water. Yeah. Uh, they zip up right yeah, here. They're, they're looking for shots uh, downrange at some point. Now, these Pegasus, uh, if you hadn't noticed the intro, this is this is the Ill Clan era, Dan. Yeah. Okay, this yeah. is no ordinary Pegasus. Oh, well, of course not. Uh, so, these <laughs> have multiple missile launchers. Okay. Uh, they have four of them. 
okay. four MML threes in each turret, and those those can be grouped together in a in a single tank. Sure, why not? Uh, so they can just so I could potentially hit next turn. Okay, uh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Uh, and then my Wolverine, uh, also very fast. I think he's got Mask or Supercharger or Turbocharger, maybe Twin Turbos, I don't know. But he's hauling up this way, and then my Thunderbolt is like, oh, let's wait for me. Uh, okay. He's just coming up the gun. All right. I see you have a nice tight... Yep, staying in. The brick. Making, making a fire line. I'm just going to move they call the over. Kentucky brick. <laughs> maybe destroy one thing at a time. I like you know, that. Kind of like a Death Star. Maybe. Ah, I like I don't that. know, I'm trying new things. You know? Trying new things. New things, yeah. Trying new things. We're old-fashioned. I love it. Um, so, I guess we'll get into turn two. Yep. Should we roll initiative on camera? Yeah, it's been so long since we've actually filmed a battle report. Um, I'm wondering maybe, will, I, will I, get, I be lucky enough? Should I get different colored dice if we're going to roll on camera? Because we roll. That's no, fine. I can roll on my end. Okay. Right. You just want to, you don't like the yellow dice. I gave you the, <laughs> I gave you the cursed ones. See, this is what I'm talking about. Life this is, is about. it's good. It's turning around for me, guys. Uh, so. Next turn, the, you're not going to see white the dice. The pirate scum dice. have one initiative. Uh, and so you will have to make uh, the first move. So we'll get into turn two, guys. Don't go away. After turn two movement, uh, so I want initiative. Let me tell you real quick what that means in Battletech Override for those of you that don't know. So um, to sort of simulate and give an advantage to faster units, uh, every movement and shooting right is is phase is basically bracketed by their TMM, a unit's TMM. So the way it worked is all of the TMM one units move first, and because you lost initiative, you move both your mechs. I move my mech. Right, then we go to TMM2. I don't have any TMM2 units. You move both of your vedettes. Yep. Then I move the rest of my guys. Yep. Right? Um, now shooting, it, it it's sort of less of an issue. Uh, unless there's like a specific firing order that you need to achieve, you can kind of ever, because the damage is still resolved simultaneously. Yeah. But if I have a guy that's near death, I may want to wait. Yeah. If he's got a high TMM and if he's dead, I'm just going to overheat the high hell and you know, uh, and do that. So sometimes it matters, but typically in shooting, you know, we're just going to go one side then the other. Like especially right now, it's all we're all fresh. It doesn't really matter. Correct. Um, so I don't know how you want to do it. I'm happy to shoot first, or you can shoot first. Um, I guess I'll shoot first. All right. Go to the go to the, yeah. the stated standards. All right. So um, your your uh, Marauder and your Vindicator would be up. Yes. Um. So we are going to fire. Let's have four, and then your. Mm-hmm. But I think he's like what? So their extreme range is 30, so they are within extreme range. Okay. Marauder to the Thunderbolt. Okay. And then these guys. Sorry. Sorry. Jeez. Yeah. So that'd be long range, right? Because long range is over 12, but under 21. Yeah. Under 20. Yes. Alright, let's let's do that, because that'll be. I'm gonna do the Marauder into. The lead Pegasus? Yeah, the lead Pegasus. Foolish human. Yes, it kind of is, but I don't really have... I'd be firing the same if I was firing at the Thunderbolt. Yep. So it would be... So seven. Nines. So you need nines. Yeah. All right, and you're firing which weapons? You have to declare all the ticks that you're firing. Um. Well, actually, no, it's going to be a PPC, two PPCs, and then the Gauss. Okay. So... And you'll build up no heat from that? Yes, correct. All right. So they all need nines. PPC nope. one is a miss. Oh geez, damn. Oh, that's a that's a four. Does not count. <laughs> Literally anything would have worked other than that. Uh, all right, and then the yeah, Gauss. Gauss, and that's in the same range bracket. That's a, that's at yeah. That's a plus two at medium. Yep. Okay. Or plus two at long rather. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I meant to say. Oh. I feel for you. Unfortunately, it's so a it Zippy hovercraft. So my my bad luck continues. I got a lot of fives and sixes in there. Got a lot of fives. But and then sixes. All, we even changed the dice for you. Too. Then all ones. No, not yet. 
All right, so then the Vindicator... <laughs> the Vindicator can fire at... I think he can hit the Wolverine up there. Okay. Wolverine right. will get partial cover through the, the scaffolding of the bridge. Um, you are at long range. Okay. So it's going to be the same thing. Um, okay. And you move that four, so it's going to be nines. Yeah. No, it would be tens because he's got the cover Tens with too. partial cover, that's yeah. right. And what are you doing, PPC and LRM5? Yes. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. It's an ERPPC, actually, isn't it? Yes, it is an ERPPC, sir. Right. Here it comes. <laughs> uh, all right, and then the LRM5. Why even bother? So many sevens, then. All right. It's almost like it's the most statistically likely number to appear on 2D6. <laughs> uh, all righty. It's not that bad, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So this guy here can hit that dude there. Yeah. Okay. So Which one. So that. Insane. So that vedette firing into this package. Yeah. And here. Here, the tanks are fours. Uh no, they're still skill three. They're it's just three. Still piloting okay, five. So, so three and so it's still gonna be the same. Okay. Nine. Right? Now you have an ultra auto cannon ten, Dan. Yes. If you notice that as an RF at the end of the tick, that tag designates that it is a rapid fire weapon, which okay. means you can opt to fire it twice. Okay. You fire twice, you build up twice the amount of heat, you roll twice to hit, you roll twice, you know, for locate, you know, two different locations if you hit twice. However, if you roll snake eyes on the second shot, the weapon is jammed and useless for the rest of the game. So it's actually going to be an 11 to hit. How'd you get to 11? Because it's long range. So it's plus is four. Is it plus from two. the Vedette? It's got to be, right? Because Yeah, it's probably not 12. Yeah. 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 You need 11. So you're going to rapid fire? No. No. Dan says no. No. You should have. <laughs> All right. The other Vedette? Yeah. Same thing? Um... Yeah, I mean, I think yeah. he's got line of sight. And no. everything misses. Not rapid firing. I'm I'm surprised. I would have just been like, bruh, 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 yeah. gunning down range. All right, here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is, is we're going to shoot my Thunderbolt into your Marauder. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at the card real quick, Dan. I'm going to flash this up on the screen so people can see what we're, we're looking at here. So uh you'll see there under weapons there are four weapons four weapon groups mm. er ppc er large laser lrm15 and then a group of three er medium lasers okay damage can exceed five uh on the you know on the base damage here um so that that's why you know the the three er mediums can fit in a group they don't exceed five damage now um you'll notice the range brackets right so if i want to shoot my er ppc at your marauder it's a they're at extreme range. My range mod is plus four. It's the same for all of the top three weapons. The ER mediums, however, have a dash, which means they can't shoot at extreme range. Yes. Pretty simple. Yep. So if I want to shoot your Marauder with all three things, I build up six points of heat, which is what I'm going to do because I have six heat sinks. Yep. Uh, so I would need three, uh, I would need eight nines with cover, right? Sure. Because you're at a TMM1, yeah? Yep. Yep. So three, four, yeah. five, seven, eight, and then nines with cover. Yep. Uh, so very doable, Dan. Yep. Now I have three chances to do this. ER PPC first. Hits. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, ER large. Ooh, sure. that hits. Sure, 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 <laughs> sure. And then the LRM15, Dan. Here it comes. Mm -hmm. Can I get a missile lock? I do not. All right, so the, the ER large lands. Now that is three points of damage. Like classic, I'm gonna roll 2d6 for location. On the record sheet, it tells you where that lands. It, the same numbers as classic. The only difference is there's no left and right torso. It's all one giant torso blob. Uh, so I rolled a six, which is torso. So it's three pips to that torso armor on the Marauder. Well done, high five to my Which is ball. also on these nifty cards. Also right, yeah, the numbers are right so, there on the nifty cards. So yeah. Yeah, we try to put as much as we can on these cards so you don't have to go to the rules. Yeah. We try. Try. We try. All right, Wolverine's up next. Uh, he sprinted, can't do anything. Pegasus. So we are going to double down on the Marauder uh, and fire our multiple missile launcher groups at that Marauder. Now we are at long range, so three, four, you get five for cover. I need sevens to hit, okay? So I'm just gonna roll to hit first for both of them. Miss and hit. All right. What's it what? Did I did I miss did I miss no, I got cover, right? 
three. No, four, you do, but I, I would I would have said the second one, the one in the back. You don't think you can see? It's I mean, there's the pillar right here. If you want to come on this side. I mean, when I well, that's the one that missed then. Uh, <laughs> convenient. Uh, no, it's one that rolled second, right? Or one that rolled first. Yeah, that guy was shooting first, then that guy. Okay, yeah, that's how that works. Either way, I mean, I would have just shot him at the vedette. I would have missed. Um, so, <clears throat> I think I still think you can see. We can argue about it later. Okay. I think he has line of sight through. But regardless, he missed. This guy hits. We're at long range, right? Mm -hmm. So what I need to do is I need to roll uh, missile clusters, which I got a lot of them. The way missile clusters work in Mech Warrior Destiny, which is where this is all derived from, is a one, two, or three is is the amount of damage that you do. A four, five, or six is no damage. There are rules around, like if you have Artemis and if they're narked and stuff like that, it they're, they're you know it can modify that. But basically, here we go. Oh, that's ugly. All right, not bad though. So three, four, five, seven damage. Now, these are missiles though. So each one of these is going to hit a different location. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with smallest to largest. All right, so three damage goes to the 10, which is the right arm, uh, left arm actually, sorry. Uh, so three to the left arm, two to the left arm, one to the left leg, one to the right leg. So a bit of a smattering of damage there uh, from, the, got from the Pegasus. He's ECM. Does that make a difference at all? No. Oh. Uh, if I had like streaks or something like that, it, it would make a difference, but uh, no, it does not. Okay. Um, also, if we were doing like weather and things along those lines, it can it can impact like your, your uh, detection range and things along those lines, but. Okay, so I'm done shooting, you're done shooting. Uh, that's the end of turn two. Blood's been spilled. How do you feel, Dan? I feel like these dice have betrayed me. You need to. Where are your orange dice? We were actually just Tom and I were just <clears throat> joking about your orange dice. Oh, uh, they're 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 packed up. I gotta still gotta unpack that stuff. Gotta find the big orange dice. I know. What did you used to use those for? Was it forty k or was it D and D? I don't remember. I just remember 40K. you rolling like <laughs> they were like enormous. Yeah, I it had... was like the giant fuzzy dice from like like, <laughs> like knock everything over on the table. Oh, God it, bless was, him. it was forty k. God bless him. Um, all right. Well, anyway, we're done turn two. We're moving into turn three. It's just that simple, then. It is. All right. So guys, yes. stick around. Turn three is coming right up. We are back. It is turn three. Dan furiously switching dice, uh, <laughs> trying to find uh, a, a pair that works for him. If you saw how um, many ones I rolled off camera, you would have done. You he was just sitting there rolling dice. Said, "Look, another one. Look, another <laughs> one. Look, another one." Maybe he got them all out of the system. We'll see. Nah, it's been too. You, I, you aren't a bad streak. Somebody had to. Yeah, I was on a really bad streak. Yeah. Um, so here's what we're going to do, guys. We are going to actually shoot in bracket order this time because I do think it's going to matter. Um, I don't think it is, but you do. So So you need to shoot first with your Marauder and Correct. your Vindicator. Then I need to shoot with my Thunderbolt. And then it's your Vedettes and then the rest of my stuff. But really, the Wolverine and then the Pegasus. Okay. The Pegasus! The Have Pegasus. you ever seen the Key and Peele skit? Yes. With the Pegasus yes. <laughs> If you haven't seen that, make sure you look it up. That's a great one. Actually, based on a real, a real, uh, yes. real, real yeah. news, yeah, yeah, real news story. About All right, so the Marauder, uh, contrary to my what everything's telling me, I'm going to fire at the Pegasus on your right, my left. All right, so Marauder, Pegasus, yes. under the bridge, because they are definitely within uh, medium now. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm not going to take as much of a penalty. No penalty. Okay. So it's going to be seven? Yeah, just a seven. Okay. Actually, I'm going to turn off my fans and submerge my hovercraft. <laughs> no, I'm just uh, all right, so sevens it is. Um, Exciting. This we're going so to yeah, fire everything. Is it, oh. is it a single tick with both X pulse on it? Is that what it's got? Two medium X pulse in the arms? Yes, yeah. And it's a single tick, right? 
that fires them both times yes. two? Okay. Correct. Yes. All right, so sevens all around. Start with the ERP PCs, Dan. That's one hit. All right, ERP PC number take two. It. Look at this. Look, at this. <laughs> look how excited he is, guys. This is adorable. I finally hit something. I finally hit something. Oh, okay. Well, you know. That's one PPC down. All right, Gauss rifle. Nails it. All right. That's a good one. And then the X pulse. Can yeah. you do it, Dan? Nope. Yep. But you still dealt a significant amount of damage. You need to roll for location. Uh, so we'll do tell the, me here. We'll do the Gauss first. Oh, the Gauss first. Okay. Yeah. We'll Is it five Gauss. points? No, it's actually three. It's a light Gauss. Oh, it's a light Gauss. Yeah. Okay. Seven. Seven. That is the front. And then the PPC, which would be four damage. Six. That's also the front. All right, so the front is stripped. If you sneeze on this Pegasus in the front armor, it is destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we have the Vindicator. He's going to shoot at the Wolverine. Okay. Um, he can fire everything. <laughs> everything. Uh, so he be take he he will be taking also negative because he jumped. Right. So he's a plus two. Basically, he's like skill five, uh, and then he's TMM three. So your base is eight plus range. Yes. Whatever you. What what are we at? We're eight. definitely so at it's going to be. Yeah, we're at medium range. Okay, so it's definitely going to be um, it's going to be eight for the PPC and the LRM five. Okay. And then the medium laser, it's going to be... 10? 10. Okay. How's he looking on heat? Um, with all of that, yeah. he's still under. Oh! Yeah. L but you jump. Oh, that doesn't... Jumping does build up heat, though, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I believe you build up uh, a point of heat for jumping. Fuck. Still, still not enough. It's all right. Still not enough. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, he still got, got one more one more extra heat So many heat sinks. So we said eight and tens, right? So we're going to yeah. do two eights first. Yeah, so um, PPC. PPC. That's a hit. Now, I hate to tell you, he is in partial cover, but a nine will still hit. Uh, right? Wouldn't you agree he's in partial cover? Sure. I'll give you that. I mean, it's only his leg, but whatever. He is no, I'm kidding, freaking I'm kidding. behind the warehouse. <laughs> uh, and it's then now playing with Tom. LRMs. Nice. That's a hit. Look at this Vindicator go. <laughs> if mm -hmm. I can get it, if I can get a 10. Or you get a full 11, alpha, right? man. That's, that's oh pretty God. good. Oh my God, you got it. <laughs> Look at that, this Vindicator pilot. What? A god among insects. All right, all right. Uh, okay. We're playing so, the game now. We're playing, I, I love this game, it's so good. <laughs> all right, so let's roll for location. Uh, Start with the, uh, I guess the PPC. Yes, we'll do with the PPC. And that's four points of damage. It's gonna be four points of damage. So that's five. It's the right leg. We'll do the, uh, the medium laser. It's gonna be two damage. The 11, that's the left arm. Okay. And then the LRM. Is what, one plus N1? Yes. All right, so you're gonna wanna roll- And it's roll... got two bracket. Yeah, it's a maximum of two. So roll one, roll one and die, just one of those. A one, two, or three. Two. All right, so you're just gonna do two points of damage. Okay. Because it's the, the max that you can do. More, and that'll and hit. The location will be? Three. Right arm. All right. Okay, 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 okay. It feels nice it on feels this side, like but but honestly, the return, that's what it's gonna be. So my nine. thunderbolt's up. Yeah. All right, he's gonna fire actually at this lead vedette. Uh lead vedette. Here it is. So we're are we are at 20 inches, maybe 21, but either way, we're still at, at long range. Uh I'm going to fire. ER PPC, ER large, and an LRM 15. I would love to fire three ER mediums, Dan, mm -hmm. and build up like crazy amounts of heat just to be see what happens. You can walk in the water. I can walk on water? No, walk in. Jesus, I mean, you're technically in water. I mean, half in. He's he's like, he's got his toes in. All right. It's not enough. Um, We're just going to fire the big guns. Okay. All right. I'm not, I'm not going crazy yet, Dan. Okay. So... ERPPC, all of these things are plus two at long. So three, four, five for jumping, six, seven for long, eight, nine for your TMM. So I need nines. Okay. Here we go. Nope. ER large. Nope. LRM 15. Ooh. Yes. All right. Something hits. Um, so this is one plus M3 with a max of five. 
So I only do four points of damage. So it'll be a group of one and a group of three. Group of one goes to the front. Group of three goes to, what the heck's the four? The right side. So three points to the right side armor. Uh, three points? Yeah. Okay. All right, beautiful. So that's my Thunderbolt. Now we go back to your Vedette tanks mm -hmm. uh, and they get to do something. Oh, I get to shoot with my Vedette tanks. All right, so lead Vedette tank, which is gonna be him, is gonna be firing into... <laughs> it's gonna be firing into the left, my left, your right. Okay. The this same guy, one, this yeah, the same right one is already so taken. So that into yeah. that, yep. Um, so that's gonna be... We are, we're still at medium. There's no way we're at short. Yeah, there's no way. So he's gonna be, still gonna be two. So it's gonna be four, five, six, nines to hit. Love it. You double tapping? I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. I think so. You firing anything else too? Um, No, I can't. Okay. It's just got a heavy machine gun. Oh, is that what's on there? Okay. Yeah. It's for losers. Close All right. No cigar. Okay. Um, and then this guy, I said I, I said I couldn't you really see. You don't think he can see? I mean, I, I think he can see a partial cover. Roll tens. Okay. Yeah. You're like Tom, like, you know, you guys are so stringent with the cover. <laughs> Not really stringent, just I just try to be fair. Just, just try to be fair. All right, so that's a hit. Just kidding, he can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, you're double tapping too, so roll yeah. again. Oh my God, I regret this immediately. <laughs> uh, all right, so two auto cannon Ultra AC 10 shells rip into the Pegasus. Okay, so that's gonna be four damage. Okay. Right. Location. Nine, Nine is the turret. How much damage is it? Four. Okay, he's still, he's still alive. Okay, I roll again, right? Yeah. Oh my. The second AC shell rips through the front of the Pegasus, sending it sky high, detonating the ammo, Dan, in a brilliant display of fireworks Ugh. and gore. Uh, so that Pegasus is destroyed. Now, you're done shooting. <coughs> yes. I shoot back. Yeah, that's the part I don't like. Um, with, my, with my remaining forces, of course. So my Wolverine is up here. Uh, so he can fire everything, presumably. We said so we're at medium range, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, so Wolverine to Vindicator. Now, your TMM is two. My gunnery is three. So that's a five plus range. So I need sevens and actually fives. My medium X pulse is zero at medium range, which is which is delightful. So the heavy PPC we're going to start with, that needs a seven. Hit it. Medium X pulse needs a five. Hit it. SRM six needs a seven. Yeah. Okay, so let's roll for location. PPC, five points of damage, Dan, going to, oh, almost the head. I could have killed you in just a single a gruesome blow. Was that 11? Yeah. And then two points of damage going to, ooh, the 11. All right, so his left arm is gone. Ooh, really? Yeah. Anything juicy in there? Um, I don't think so. No. No weapons, right? Correct. All right. Aimed for the wrong arm. Yep. Okay. That's unfortunate. All right, so Ride of the Valkyries here, the, the, the Pegasus last stand. Um, so we're gonna fire at that lead vedette. Okay. All right, both of, both of the Pegasi, as it were. So the one that died is going to, well, actually they're both gonna fire everything. Uh, we are at medium range. So here we go. The MML tick. Uh, actually, I don't even know what I need. Three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven. I needed sevens. I missed that. Medium X pulse laser. I need fives. That hits. Got that. Uh, the other one, MML cluster, needs sevens. Oh, X pulse needs five. So I got two medium X pulse uh, off one off each of these tanks. Location is as follows. Front and whatever the heck 11 is, left side. And how much damage is that? Uh, only two points each. Okay. Jeez, it's awful. It's weathering. It's awful. It, just awful for the pirates. It's a bad day, Dan. Um, so the Pegasus destroyed. 
the Wolverine took a little bit of damage, but overall, I think everyone, everyone in one piece. Now, uh, that is the end of turn three. Yes. Moving on to turn four. Yep. Uh, so guys, stay tuned. It's coming right up. Alright guys, we are back. It's turn four. We're amped and ready. Uh, so, Dan won initiative yes. uh, for a change. And so I had to make a couple of moves before him, but generally uh, my faster units are still going to act after his slower units. But I did have to move my Thunderbolt in. Unfortunately, uh, he's not going to have line of sight on that Marauder, I don't think. Maybe he will. Um, but he definitely can see the Vedette. No, I should so, say, cool say. Yeah? Yeah, they okay. can see each other. Um, some, some cool line of sight passages here under the bridge for yeah. sure. Uh, my Wolverine came out of cover. He's going to stay on that Vindicator. Classic pirate action going on. And my Pegasus, um, now thoroughly enraged at the death of his twin, is, uh, has sped ahead and is going to engage that Marauder at point blank. Rude. It's rude. It um, now, that said, what did you do? Uh, well, I moved both of the vedettes up. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna engage the uh, Thunderbolt with them, yeah. um, and then I moved, I I jumped the Vindicator. Great monster. I was kind of hoping you would come out, which you did. So maybe that'll actually work in my favor. Maybe I'll go horribly wrong. We'll yeah. see. I don't know. I already took one arm. <clears throat> That's true. He only needs one. Now. It's now hanging off my. Oh, is that it? He ran over, ran back. Yeah. <laughs> and then I took the Marauder and brought him into the into the stream to kind of... I did the same with yeah. my Thunderbolt, I should have mentioned that. So these green dice just are here as a reminder uh, that they will get partial cover uh, from being submerged in depth one water, as yeah. it were. Yes. And if anybody was wondering what's happening with the Vedette, so we have these sort of rocky oh, right, right. Yes. fjords I... across the, not fjords, but fjords <laughs> uh, that we built in across the rivers, knowing that there would be track vehicles. We wanted them to have opportunities to get across, not knowing what side it would pick up a couple yep. on mine. So um, he is uh, he is getting across yes. uh, the raging rapids there yeah. in, in sweet form. So uh, I will shoot first with my, uh, with my Thunderbolt. Wait, I thought I was shooting first. I lost initiative. No, I lost initiative. Uh, okay. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. If you want to shoot, you can shoot. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll shoot first. I'm going to shoot first. That belongs on my Pegasus also, sir. Okay. You'd be so kind. Yes, I'm going to put Excellent. it on this side so it's towards me so I can see it. Thank you. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm going to start with the Marauder. Right. Don't forget he still has that uh, the heat penalty. Uh, to attack, so he's yes. essentially gunnery four, yes. if you will. Yes. Um. So he is going to shoot everything. That seems seems reasonable. Right into the Pegasus. Okay. Um. So he'll be he'll be to build up heat again. Mm -hmm. Um. Right. Yeah. That's just the way it's going to be. I think. I should also I should also note um for our viewers because we did this off camera. Uh, we did roll piloting checks for the Marauder earlier in the game and the Wolverine later in the game. When you take seven points of damage, uh, it's like taking the equivalent of 20 points in Classic, and they need to make a piloting check, but their piloting is, is four, so they had no problem uh, making that. But if you take, like, 21 points of damage, for example, then, you know, then it makes it more difficult yeah, yeah. Um, to, to succeed as, as and then, you know, Damaged actuators, gyros, all of these things factor in, but right now they're they're pretty stable. So, uh, sorry to interrupt. Please continue murdering my Pegasus. So he's going to be hitting on eight, surprisingly. Oh, he's very fast. Right. Actually, I'm sorry. So nines with your gunnery penalty, right? It's going to be tens with the PPC. It's going to be eights with the. I'm sorry, with the the Gauls, it's going to be tens. Okay. With the PPCs, it's going to be eights, and then with the lasers, it's going to be sixes. Oh, right, because the Gauss two. has the short-range penalty, I think. Correct. So, we're going to start with the Gauss first. So, so that's tens, eights, ten. and sixes. Ten. Okay, ten. So, that's a hit. I don't like it. Uh, and then they're going to do the two PPCs, so I need two eights, possibly. So, that's, that's an eight. That's another eight. And then the lasers. Oh, 
Oh my god, this Pegasus is gonna get murdered. <laughs> All right. Do we wanna yeah, we gotta roll for, yeah, for location. All right, let's start with the gauss. Okay. Three pips. Three pips. That is ten. Okay. PPC. Nine. Four points. Yeah. Okay. That is seven. Four points for the next PPC. Okay. And then the uh, lasers. Lasers. So that's another seven. That's four damage as well. To the seven, it's destroyed. <clears throat> uh, oh. I needed you to roll right side on that one day. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Well, that explains it. You know, the fragility of hovercrafts. That is such you, a slight. You know, that when they first came in, I was worried about them. Yeah, because you had all of them dice. And it's just like. It's a, it's a yeah, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a barrage of, of missiles. And, you know, I really wanted to test to see, um, you know, how it would sort of stack up with, um, you know, at point blank range, you know, is it going to melt? Are they going to last forever? Yeah, I, th I think I think that feels right. I mean, it shouldn't be able to go toe to toe with a Marauder, um, which is sort of stress testing the system in my well, mind. Well, I mean, here. also let's put it. I also you over, I you pegged it. some. Well, you pegged some really good numbers too. That I mean, too. You hit like 10, yeah. 8, 8, You know. So, but still, yes. Um, yeah. Oh, you overheated again. Yes. Yes. So you're going to build up one point of heat. Oh, just one point because I'm in the water, right? Well. Oh, you build a four every time you right. You're gonna go up to four, but really up to three because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll dissipate one from being on the one. Yes, yeah. So it will be shut down next turn. <laughs> <laughs> so mistakes were made, but I think oh, it was a little worth oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. All right. Uh, so your vindicator's up. Yes. Um, he is obviously gonna be firing at the Wolverine. They're not within. They're still at medium. They're still at medium. I also want to point out one quick thing. Your Marauder's yeah. TMM is actually zero from the heat. It's not one. Uh, the TMM drops oh. with the speed as well. Okay. Um, so you can replace it with a blank white if you want. Okay. Um, or I'll just remember, make a mental note. Okay. Um, either way. So the TMM is zero. zero. Yeah. And actually, my same thing with my Thunderbolt. Okay. That is going to kind of probably matter because I'm probably going to yeah. shoot at him. Um. All right. Yeah. yeah. So the <clears throat> Vindicator is going to be firing the PPC, um, medium lasers, and he's going to be firing the. The LRM. It's going to be firing everything. So, so Vindicator to Wolverine, medium range, firing everything. So and that is sevens. Okay. To hit. Base. Base. Arm the ERP. Eights, right? Because you're skill three, I'm TMM three, and then two for the jump penalty. I thought, okay. I thought it was one for the jump one penalty. One heat, two on the gunnery. I didn't have any heat, though. No, no. I mean, you build up one heat when you jump and the plus two penalty. Okay. For gunnery. Okay. So, it's okay. true. It's, it's fact. Not <laughs> okay. lying, Dan. No, I'm not saying you are. Uh, you just called right, me a liar. So eight? Live on camera. So that's going to be tens for the medium lasers. So it's going to be eight, eight, ten. Okay. All right. So the ER PPC. As a miss. The jams. I'm just kidding. LRM. That's going to be eight. That is. All right. Hit. That hits. All right, All right, and, and then the laser, laser. And then the laser is going to be, I need tens for this. Yes, no, all right. So roll 1d6, uh, yeah, whatever you want, it's fine. Uh, so you just deal one point of damage to the Wolverine. So it's a, it's, a, it's a significant blow. Is there anything that, that will actually hurt it? You have to roll head. head blow. Oh, 10. All right. All right. Damn. You yeah. know, that's disappointing. You're up, buddy. All right. Uh, so, uh, Thunderbolt. Yeah. The question is, so this is the damaged vedette over here. Correct. The one that's crossing yes, the bridge. This guy's completely free of damage. And we're at, we're at what? Extreme range? Yeah, we're still at extreme range. So I would need, um, I would need threes, sevens, actually only sevens to hit you. Eights, because you're in partial cover. I wanna stay, I wanna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get fooled by your smokescreen vehicles here, Dan. All right, <laughs> I'm going for the Marauder. Okay, so the 
The Thunderbolt's shooting at the Marauder. He is. Okay. I'm going to need eights across the board. Okay. I am firing ER PPC, ER large, LRM 15. So basically I'll max my heat sinks, but I'll still reduce a point of heat from being in the water. Okay. So I need eights. Here we go. ER PPC. No! ER large. The ER PPC hasn't hit anything. LRM 15, nothing. Oh, Unreal. Real. You suck, you pirate scum. <laughs> he did good right off the bat. And, I mean, then, and then after that, there's yeah, nothing. Then he forgot how to... Like eights, come on, people. All right, so uh, your vedettes are up. All right, so we're going to go with the right vedette. This guy. He's number this guy here. Number two. What's he doing? Do they have turrets? Um, they do have turrets, right? They do have turrets. All right, what's he, who's he shooting? Um, so I'm thinking he's going to shoot the Wolverine. Yeah. That's what I thought you were going to do. Yeah, because it makes the most sense. Yeah, so they're a medium range. They are with a medium range. Um, So okay. he's going to be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Eight to hit. Can I tell you how excited I am for the new Vedette models then? The new plastic I have models? not seen them. Oh, they're phenomenal. I'll okay. show you in a bit. And I am going to rapid fire that. Yeah, I figured. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, sorry, you didn't declare it. Close. Only one hit, right? Yep. Okay, so roll for location? Yes. Oh, come on. Make it make it somewhere special, guys. Torso. And what is it? Four damage. Four damage. Dear God, really? It seems like a lot. I mean, it's 10 points uh, in classic. That's, that is correct. Four <clears throat> points in, in override. Um, And then the other vedette, he... I don't think he can see anything. Unless you want to say he can see his legs underneath the... Uh, the bridge? Who's that? The this dude? Yeah. I don't know, Dan. You're gonna have to I'll let you cover miser that one. <sighs> I'm gonna go with no. You're pretty honest. I try to be no. You're know. pretty honest. They call you they call you honest, Dan. <laughs> no one's ever called you. Uh, I just wanna go on a record. Every time I move my vedettes, I make a, a tank tank making noise. Yeah, <laughs> I mean because they look like that. It's, it's, I just like my six year old in me. All right, you're up, buddy. Have your vengeance. All right, so check it out. I want to make some quick measurements here yeah. because this idea just popped in my head. Yeah, it's just not, it's not, not good enough. Not giant enough, uh, you. I want to say on the uh, the vindicator. All right. Okay. The vindicator walk uh, Firing everything. Okay. All right. You uh, sure you want to fire everything? Uh, every single thing, Dan. Okay. Okay. Don't try to talk me out of it. You want to open talk up the me door, off the throw sledge. Throw coffee at me too. <laughs> fives. I need fives. Right. What did you need to hit? I need eights. I need sevens. Okay. Yeah, because we're a medium. I need sevens and fives. So my X pulse is a five. Everything else is seven. All right. So heavy PPC. I need a seven. It's so heavy. There you go. It's so heavy and delicious. How much damage does that do? 65. Uh, medium X pulse, <laughs> it, does, it does five points. Okay. Uh, medium X pulse, I need fives. Oh, SRM six, I need sevens. Come on, land it. All right, now, let's start with the heavy PPC. That's not. We're doing it. No. Four, that's not what I wanted. Four? Right arm. Yeah, how much I'm is just, that? That's five damage? Five. Oh my God. I'm just hunt, hunting the arms right now. Uh, all right, so. SRM6 is one plus M2 with a max of four. All right, so I only have two points of damage. Yeah. Uh, so so that's it. Yeah. That sucks. Does it though? It does. And it uh, first location is an eight, that's torso. Right. Second location is a 10, which is left arm, which will transfer into the torso as you have okay. no left so arm. So that was just one and one, right? Yeah. Okay. So it did seven points of damage. Honestly, so if you would have done both of those in the left arm, that would have been it. I would have been great and you would have yeah. no PPC and the peasants would rejoice. Uh, you need to make a piloting check. Uh, I would say at the end of the phase, but nothing else is shooting at Sumo. Well no, he's still it got now. this guy to shoot. He's not shooting the, the Vindicator, Dan. Oh, um, uh, uh, shooting. You so, want to say you may roll now? Uh, yeah, so you're going to need to make a, you need a five or less, obviously. He's Why fine. Can't I get... Don't know. That is the curse of Battletech. I need to at other phases. So I'm at point blank range with this this Pegasus that is now watching just like this Marauder look down on it, unleashing guns. Um, so I will fire back here. I need three, I mean, I need four. And actually I need a two with my medium X pulse. Here we go, need a four. Oh my God, I missed. <laughs> 
this is why you don't bring a Pegasus to a gunfight. Okay? You don't bring a Pegasus to a gunfight, guys. Holy, that is like... Uh, the exploit is hit. So two points of damage to your torso. Two points, you say? Yeah. That's crazy. Well, you know, weirder things have happened. Uh, this is why they're pirates, Dan. Hey. All right. This guy just got his driver's license. <laughs> he's like 16. I mean, he's, pressing the he's now floating downstream because technically <laughs> he's not driving anywhere. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. So bad. <laughs> so bad. Well, that's the end of the that's the end of the, the, the turn. Now you have two objective points. I have none. Okay. As this is a kill mission. Oh, okay. Okay. Right? Uh pitched battle, as it's yes. called. Yes. Also I remember uh, these things. I got bad memory. Yeah, bad memory. Uh you can download uh the mission pack for free also. And they are awesome mission packs. They're great. They're yes. great missions. Uh this one's very simple. Uh but we just want to do a simple one tonight. We didn't have a lot of brain power. So I can't believe you killed and I haven't done anything. I, I mean, you blew off an arm, technically. I mean, it's a useless arm, but... I need to get over there and pick it up and beat you with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, we're getting into turn five, which yes. is usually a very decisive turn, a turn of glory and death. Uh, so stick around, guys. Turn five, coming right up. guys we are back turn five on amnesty dan yes pirate forces dwindling or are they two pegasus destroyed but maybe it was just a fluke maybe just a ruse yeah maybe. pirate trap <laughs> sacrifice our own units just to get in your head uh i don't know we'll find out but what i do know is that if you did we're paying attention in the damage report you may have noticed the marauder was shut down yeah yeah um, subtle so, but Dan did fail. Uh, he, he went up to three points of heat. Uh, he failed his shutdown check, which is an eight plus, as listed on the card. And uh, and so, that good old Marauder shut down. Now, that means I'm at minus two to hit it, which is a good for me. But you're still in the water, which gives you, you know, partial cover bonus. So basically, I'm like at a net minus one. So your yeah. TMM is minus one, essentially. And you just sit there, lifeless. Uh, I need to decide whether I will shoot you with my Thunderbolt or whether I will try to nuke this uh, this vedette here. I'm not sure. Uh, but most excitingly, Dan, we were doing some jumping shenanigans uh, and Maverick managed to outmaneuver Iceman. Uh, and so I now... <laughs> I think it's Goose. Goose is one that dies. Okay. Well, you're Goose then. Uh, because I am behind well, you yeah, and yeah, about to yeah. unload... Uh, PPCs and and other delightful things into your into your rear arc. So, um, that said, what about you? Anything exciting? Um, well, he's sleeping. Okay. I got out maneuvered, and then I just I fell back with the uh, with the right. Yeah, the vedette. Vedette. There. Um, I was kind of hoping that you would maybe take the bait or come around this way, and then I'd still be able to shoot at you but i also want to keep myself in a position i can see the thunderbolt which i can so it's going to be it's, it's going to be both thunder both uh vedettes and then the other vedette i drove continued driving and then got underneath the bridge and he is going to shoot as well i hate everything about it um and yeah if you guys can't see there is a vedette uh right under the bridge here i'm not sure if any of the cameras can see it but he's he's under there he is he's there trust me he's he there. is there <laughs> I uh, just picking up some hobos, <laughs> and then uh, he's, he's picking choose. up some uh, some pirates <laughs> who are drowning. <laughs> they're they're going downstream. I feel like I feel like that would be uh, the way the water is running back to our yeah. to our dropship. Um, all right, so you lost initiative again. Again, this is by the way unprecedented, unprecedented. initiative winning uh, for me, which is great. Uh, so you will get to shoot first now. Uh, your vindicator's up. Yep. I do want to talk to you about the uh the maneuverability of the battle mech now mm -hmm. uh if you have an arm mounted weapon you can torso twist and you can shoot one arm or both your arms behind you 
uh, as long as the weapons in the, the target interlock circuit are only limited to a single arm. So you could theoretically shoot your ERPPC behind you um, at that Wolverine if you so desired, or you could fire guns downrange. You can also split fire just like you could in Alpha Striker Classic. Mm. Um, so that said, Dan, you may begin the firing process. Dun, dun, dun. Tape deployed. Oh, we are definitely, we're in long range. Long range. Yeah. All right, so that does matter. I'm going to fire at the Thunderbolt. Okay. At long range. All right, I love that. Uh, so you're skill three. Yes. You jump, three. so essentially five. Yep. And then I'm in, I'm in cover and TMM, so your base is seven plus range. Nines. All right. I feel like it's still going to be the same. It's just like... PPC and LRM, right? Yeah. Okay. Nines. No. No, and now the LRM, sir. No. Nothing happens. He's just going to die. My Thunderbolt just has like one of those pieces of straw and he's like underwater. <laughs> you can't see him. Oh, poor guy. He's going to die. All right. All right. Um, that's it. Right. Now your vedettes. Uh, no, my Thunderbolt. Yep. So the big question is, do I fire at that Marauder, which, I mean, we're still outside of long range, or do I just try to nuke one of these stupid things? Because we're in medium range, which is significantly better than extreme range. Your if call, I'm, man. If I'm not lying. It's your world. Um, so, medium range, so many of my things are plus zero. I would only need a three, four, five to hit you. We're doing it. I want to do it. I want to fire the ER PPC, the ER large, and then the trio of ER mediums. I will need a seven to hit with those, and I will build up one point of heat. But because I'm in the water, I will dissipate that um, along with the you know the, the heat sink. So let's start with the high number first, Dan. Need a seven. Praying to the dice gods. So you get. Got it. All right. So the ER mediums hit ER PPC. Hits, ER large, hits. Oh, that's so many beam weapons. Oh, I mean, at worst, everybody inside is radiation poisoning. Um, so <laughs> let's start with the PPC. Actually, let's start with the ER mediums. Okay. Five points of damage. Five points of damage. Three of them. Three of them. Where are they going? Seven, that's front. That's okay. good. I need, to, I, need, I need some more. I need some more internal. Yep. All right, PPC, where's it going? Seven, front, four points of damage. That's it. That's gone. Yes. All right, the vedette, the vedette is down. Yep. Uh, that's big, that's big for these pirates. Now, your vedettes get to retaliate, Dan. <sighs> All right, well, they're both gonna fire into the Thunderbolt. And you said that they're definitely with a medium, right? Uh, yes. All right, so it's gonna be three, four, five. That vedette's probably not. Six. No, that, that not that one. Okay. This so, one definitely is medium. Six is the hit. Uh, that sounds about right. Yeah. Nope. No. Why sixes? The, what's the What's the modifier for that weapon at medium? Two. Oh, so you needed sevens then. Okay. But either yeah. way, that's all yeah. Nice. Gotcha. All right. Second shot. That one hits. That one hit. Okay. Uh, um, location. Yes. Come on, head. Oh man, I saw that six pile. <laughs> Woo. That's four damage. Okay, got it. And then this one is going to be at long range, right? Okay. That's what you said. Yep. What's the mod for long? Four. Four? Yeah. yeah. So it's a zero to four? Yeah. Okay. So that is... Stinking inner sphere weapons. Nines to hit? Yeah. Double tapping? Obvious, yes. Obviously. Close, close, getting closer. Two closes. Two closes. The water is uh, is my savior. That's it. Okay, so my Wolverine, actually, yeah, my Wolverine's up uh, mm -hmm. to close this out here. So the Wolverine's gonna Alpha Strike into, it's gonna build up some heat here. I'm not gonna Alpha Strike. I'm gonna skip on the SRM. We're just gonna fire the heavy PPC and the medium X Pulse, all right? Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm in your rear arc. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm building up the heat. Okay. Okay, Dan, we're going crazy. Okay, it's turn five. So we're at short range. 
Uh, and basically, I will need three fives. I will need fives and threes because my X pulse is minus two at short. Okay. So we're going to start with the heavy PPC, which needs a five. X pulse, which needs a three, and the SRM six hits. I cannot believe I missed with it. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's landing. Oh, good boss. He was he was landing and fire. Right, just, just, just got landed. he got too excited. Yeah. So, patience, man. Patience. Use the force. <laughs> uh, all right. So medium X pulse location is a nine. That's left leg, which is total garbage. Two points of damage. I need uh, M dice, two M dice for my SRM six. So only three points of damage, a group of one and a group of two. <sighs> group of two lands at the torso. That's gonna be rear torso though. Group of two. And the group of one lands at the rear torso. Unbelievable. Could have been so good, Dan. <laughs> Could have been. Could have been so good. Could have been. Uh, and I fill out that point of heat for nothing. Pirates. Never win. That's the moral of the story. I mean, you blew up one of my vedettes. I did blow up one vedette. I yeah. feel good about that. Um, you didn't really do too much damage to me this turn. I didn't just, do any damage. You just did nicked I? my Thunderbolt's arm. Yeah. So okay. turn six is coming up. I'm still in the fight. You are. I'm still in the fight. You both um, are. Thunderbolt is keeping it real for me. So we'll see what happens. But that Marauder's going to come back online. That thing's got a lot of guns and it's going to have no heat. Very scary. Very scary. I don't know. Your, your Thunderbolt's more scary. All right. Well, we'll see. I think what do you think is more scary? Leave it in the comments. Uh, that said, Dan, turn six. You ready? Yeah. All right. Here it comes. It's turn six, dire straits here for the Pirates, but Kentucky Chargers, Dan, uh, pang and blood. <laughs> the debt detonated under the bridge. Um, now, is he sliding down the hill? <laughs> this is why I'm really excited uh, about plastic models. This is because so the metal ones are so heavy. Stop running, dude. Yeah. You're he's not going just, anywhere. He's, <laughs> if, if, if he flips <laughs> over, he's dead. Um, <laughs> We did. We did do the. Uh, yeah, we did. We did the, the piloting check for the uh, for the vindicator on yes. camera. So all good there. So basically, I lost initiative for the first time in forever. Feels like forever. It wasn't. Uh, I mean, I did win one other initiative during this match. That's <laughs> true. Uh, the thunderbolt moved up. It's okay. going to be firing at the marauder. Uh, you did some shenanigans as well uh, with your with your vindicator. Yeah, I just whirled around. I was kind of hoping that bringing them back over here, you would bring the Wolverine either either way. This Wolverine's way too clever. So uh, he literally did what I want you to do. Well, he's gonna he's gonna bring guns to bear on that Marauder. So we're gonna double down on the Marauder. We're gonna see if we can knock it out. If we can knock it out, we're gonna be in great shape. If not. You'll probably be able to knock it out. I can't see why you want to be able to. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Um, but let's begin shooting, Dan. Let's... Uh, so I'm going to start. So the Thunderbolt is at long range to the Marauder. Correct. Okay. Now, I am going to fire all the things. Um, I need three. You're in partial cover. So I need five space. I mean, that's... With the rock? Well, that and the building itself. Nah, it's cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, there, there is, this is all there is. It's either that or I can't hit you. <laughs> and if I can't hit you, you can't hit well, me. Well, I actually laid down. Oh, you're prone? Yeah. I'm just, mm. just hiding. <laughs> this is what I deal with, guys. I got bending basis. knees for a reason, man. All right. Hyper extended actuators. <laughs> um, all right. So the Thunderbolt, again, five, and then I need sevens. I'm going to fire the ERPPC, the ER large, and the LRM15. All right, so we're gonna start with the PPC. <sighs> Misses. Come on. So you eight sevens? Sevens. Oh. oh, eights. Eights, actually. Miss. I miss everything. I miss everything. All right, uh, you're up. My turn to shoot, right? All right, everything from the Marauder. Not everything. 
I'm going to be shooting the Marauder. <laughs> I don't want to build it again. Down again. Uh, the Marauder into the Wolverine. Okay. They are medium. Mm -hmm. For sure. For sure. And so that's going to be three, four, five. Fives. To hit. Fives to hit. You have zeros at medium range? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. And you're firing two PPCs and the Gauss? Yes. Got it. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. So this is the Gauss. That's a hit. Hits. Uh, PPC. Miss. And then second PPC. Is a cool rip. That's not a thing. Just a hit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're rolling for location. Uh, you have a PPC and a Gauss, right? Yes, okay. PPC and a Gauss. Okay. So we're going to do the PPC first, or the Gauss first. Okay. This is three damage? Yes. To the four. All right, that's right arm. And then the PPC. Which is seven. Or, I'm sorry, four damage? Four damage, yes. Which is... Ooh, that is a floating critical damage. Uh, so, roll 2d6, determine the location. Nine, that is left leg. And now you roll... 2d6 to determine a crit. Now, to confirm the crit, you need an 8 or better. Okay. All right? Okay. If you get an 8 or better, then you roll on the, the table. Cool. All right, so let's see if you can confirm. You do no. not confirm. All right. So, no critical hit. Uh, however, I have taken, so far, 7 points of damage this turn. Okay. All right. Moving forward. Yes. So I saw the vendette. The vendette. The vendette. The vendette. I don't know why I put an end in there. No, because you want to say Vendetta. I do. Which I get. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's going to be, that's short range. Because technically he's not higher. So, yeah, I'm going to go with short range ramp. Okay. Um, so he's going to be hitting more on the same things. Okay. Five. And he's going to be double firing. So double fire. tap. Here it comes. So that's a hit. Location. Obviously, four damage each. Oh, that's eight. Eight. Uh, no. Okay. Yep. And six. six. Oh boy, that is internal damage. So you can roll two d six again. An eight or better will confirm the critical. Auto cannon shells ripping through the torso, but not Cannot. finding anything Cannot. too delicate. Cannot. Um. That is... Yeah, that sucks, is what that is. I mean, he could fire the machine gun. I totally realized, I didn't realize that. No, you have to be within three inches, don't you? Yeah, they're within three inches. Oh, they are? Yeah. Okay. Because, no. I mean, he, oh, moved, wow. he moved down the hill a little bit. Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, that's that's a fair point. Ah, uh, so that's going to be the same thing. Five to hit. Okay. So that's a hit. Yep. Location. Uh, how much damage is that? What? One point. Wow. Yeah. If you roll torso, that could be bad. Nine. All right, so that's the left leg again. So hang on a second. So you did eight, nine, and seven. That's 16 points of damage, right? Yes. Okay. Are you done shooting? I am. Because the Vindicator can't see anything. Correct. So 16 points of damage is going to be piloting plus two. So he is currently uh, piloting a four or three fours. So I need to make a six or better. Okay. To remain standing. Okay. That that's sucks. taken care of. I'd rather you lay down. No, it 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 does not not suck because <laughs> he is jacked up. Uh, He's in bad shape. Um and my thunderbolt missed everything, which is really, really disappointing. So I'm gonna fire into the Marauder with the Wolverine. Okay. Um I'm gonna lay off the uh the SRM and I'm just gonna fire the heavy PPC and the medium X pulse. So I can bleed off that heat. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to need a three, four plus range. So I need four and six. Four? The medium X pulse is, is a zero at medium range. We're medium range, right? Yeah, we're medium range. You need like fives to hit. Yeah, a four. Well, you're slow as turds. I'm not, you know, I'm sorry about that. I'm <laughs> I never even put that in my DM. I just know he's a one. All right, here we go. So I need a four. Uh, let's start with the PPC. You need a six. And then I need a four on the X-Pulse, got it. All right, location, heavy PPC. 
I need a 12 right now, Dan, and you will you will retreat from this planet. No. I saw the one six. Eight. That's torso. So five to the torso. I'll take that. Uh, and then two points of damage to the four, which is uh, right arm. Four? Yeah. That's it. That's all I got. Okay. I'm not feeling great about this. Um, I think we'll do one more turn. We'll see how things fare. But you have a fresh Fidette. Your Marauder's a little banged up. Your Vindicator's in pretty good shape. I mean, I know the arm's just dangling there, but still, you're going to get another turn of shooting. I feel like... I feel like just some, not even lucky shots, just average shots, you know, take that Wolverine out. We'll have to see. Unless it's like all horrendous shots. Yeah. Could be the end of the road for the Pirates, guys. <laughs> uh, let's see what happens. Stay tuned. Turn seven. Will they pull it out of the hat, Dan? Let's find out. Let's find out. We are back. Turn seven. Dire Straits still. Uh, I don't remember who won or lost initiative. You I lost. You lost. lost. Yeah. You lost. Again. Uh, and so basically, I moved my Thunderbolt up onto this, uh, the, the forward and out of the river. Um, Dan moved his Marauder up, moved his other units to, to try to pincer in that Wolverine who then skittered away down the bridge. Uh, just in a, a blood vendetta, not to be confused with a vedette. Um, <laughs> against that Marauder. So we're gonna put all guns on that Marauder and see if maybe we can pull a rabbit out of our hat here, Dan. Yep. Now, that said. Yep. You shoot first. Yep. All right, so we're gonna start with, um, we're gonna start with the Marauder. Yeah. He's gonna fire. Let's go fire everything. Fire everything. We're oh alpha. my god. Yeah, we're okay. in alpha because you're in medium and I, I, I want this thing to die. I'm, I'm alpha. I'm gonna alpha right back. Well yeah, because you're about to you're about to die. I mean Or am I? I have a TM that's three, true. three, Dan. That's true, you do. It's very zippy. Um so that's six. That's six is the hit. Six and then yeah, okay. That's, that's it, just six is the hit. We're gonna start with the I hate all your long range weapons. We're gonna have the Gauss rifle. Okay. That is not a hit, right? <laughs> it's so upsetting. <laughs> the PPC. I hope this is my turn. That's a hit. Not my turn. <laughs> the other PPC. Could be my turn. That could be. And then the lasers. The lasers. That's a damage. Not my turn. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's do damage. So okay. neither one of the PPCs meant the hit, right? Or is it one PPC hit? <sighs> and you're supposed to remember these things. Uh, no, it was one PPC and the X. And the, yes, I, yeah. we'll start with PPC location. It's four points, seven. Oh god! All right, well he is going to be within force withdrawal. He has one pip on the torso left. All right, and then second are the uh, lasers. Oh man, the arms going in boo, 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 boo. right through the center of the torso. The Wolverine goes up in smoke. In hindsight, I probably should have done that, but. We're gonna fire the Vedette at the Thunderbolt. Can you see the Thunderbolt? I don't know. I'm gonna... You're tall, man. All right. I can see the top of you. I feel like you're shooting down. All right. Uh, he gets covered then. I mean, it's arcing fire. It's an auto cannon. It's like in Star Wars where the lasers <laughs> were like arcing. I'll never yes, forget that. Yeah, I'll hate yeah. that scene uh, forever. Um, so. Yeah, I'll take wow. a well, partial cover. I just thought of that. Like, I had forgotten, all, all, forgotten about all about it. I'm going to bring that pain right back into your living room. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so partial uh, cover. Yeah, he's and I'm, they're at long range. Uh, I don't know. Yes. Yeah, they're definitely not. Definitely long. long. So, okay. so it's three, gonna be... four, five, six, seven, eight, nines. I believe. Yeah. The nine. Double tapping. Yeah. Yeah. I hope it jams. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Neither one. Oh, it jams! Yes! Look at that! There so good. Go. Mark that off on your sheet. I gave you Now, that. if I destroy the Marauder this turn. Where do I mark it? 
I just scratch off the tick. Oh. Um, yeah, so I draw a line through the weapon. So <laughs> if I manage to somehow destroy the Marauder and it's just Vindicator against Thunderbolt. Yeah, I mean, obviously. You know, and, and your heavy machine gun tank, which yeah. I'm not going to care about. It could be good, guys. The pirates could win the day. They could. They then could. the jamming autocannon could be it. That could be it. Uh, and then the, the Vindicator, obviously. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to alpha everything on that one. Well, I don't think the medium's not in range, so... What do you mean? The medium medium lasers? Yeah, to the Thunderbolt? From the... No, to the... Wolverine's Oh, dead. yeah, he is. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can uh, shoot him, though. Uh, Please sure. do. Uh, Please yeah. do. So, yeah, you're right. So it's going to be the PBC and the LRM, uh, which is going to be three... Four... Five. Five, six. Six is the hit. Seven's the cover. Or I guess the Vindicator. Yeah, he's tall enough. All right, so six is. Cool. I'll allow it. That's a hit. For All right, PPC and the LRM. And the LRM. Is mm -hmm. not. Okay. All right, so PPC location. Come on, somewhere good. No nope. so. Not bad. Four no damage. Pips. All right, I'll take it. Now, uh... I'm firing back. I mean, I guess I should have shot, but I already we already know I'm shooting at the yeah. road with everything, so yeah. it doesn't really matter. So the Thunderbolt, um, the Thunderbolt does need to shoot before the Wolverine. I'd love to see what kind of damage the Wolverine does, and then decide how bad I want to overheat with the Thunderbolt. But I'm gonna just play it safe here. I'm gonna fire all the usual guns. We are at long range, uh, so three, four. I need sixes because there's no cover in play for a change. So, are you ready, Dan? No. Nope. All right. Sixes, here we come. ER PPC hits. ER large. Oh, come on. And the LRM hits. Can I please get a full boat? No. Nope. One of these days, Dan. Nope. Uh, so the LRM 15 is a uh, M3. So I'm going to roll that up. Only three points of damage there. All right, so. Um, here's how this is gonna go. You ready? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a group of four, a group of two, and a group of one. All right, okay. so group of four goes to the torso. Okay. Is, he, is he stripped? No. I'm not going to let you know until you're done. <laughs> <laughs> group of two goes to the left arm. And the group of one, I need a six, seven, or an eight, Dan. Ah, the other arm. A three. The right, right arm. Right arm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Three to the left arm. Or to the right, right arm. Uh, no, I think I hit left and then right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I fixed it. The Wolverine in its dying breath. Let's do it. A pirate for life. A, a good law-abiding citizen. Uh, <laughs> ruthlessly cut down in his prime by these vicious Kentucky Marauders. Yes, we're so uh, vicious. Kentucky Chargers in the Marauders. Yes, yeah, you're Not attacking thinking. us and we're vicious. You're, yeah. Yeah. You're the, you're, I mean, you didn't have to defend with such <laughs> aggression. Dan, oh, I should be able to come in and take whatever We're aggressively I want. negotiating with you. So I'm gonna fire everything. We are at medium range. Uh, three, four plus range. So I need sixes and fours, Dan. Okay. So we're gonna start with the heavy PPC, which needs a six. Okay. Here it comes. And please just roll ones. I rolled one six. That's good. And then a three, so that hits. Medium X pulse laser needs a four. SRM six. No! That's a har harbinger of doom right there. Uh, so, <laughs> oh. Can never land everything. Uh, so, heavy PPC does five points of damage. He's aiming for the big center torso. Does of five this points marauder. of damage? Five points. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, any, I'll take center torso or head. Okay. Center torso. That is a critical hit, if I'm not mistaken. You might be. And then medium X pulse laser, four. That's right arm. That's two points. Two points, okay. So that's two crits. All right, so we're gonna start with... That was right on, right? Right. Yeah, two, 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 right. Two crits. Right on, right. Yeah. So. 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 I mean, eight or better. This yep. is for the center torso critical. 
That is confirmed, Dan. Now, do you have an XL engine equipped in this, this battle mech? Would you happen to know? Yes, I do. Okay, so if I roll a four, five, or six, it will hit the engine. Okay. If I do not, I roll on the normal table. Okay. Okay. Now, I am going to roll on the normal table, Dan. A one. Ammo. Do you have any ammo in the torso, Dan? Uh, uh, yes, but I have a case. Is it case or case two? It's a case two in the torso. Oh my god, that sucks. All right, well, I could have killed you. It could have been glorious. But you didn't. But I did not. No. Um, okay, critical on the arm. Here it comes. Nothing. Ridiculous. Yep. I think, I think with case two, you might take a point of damage um, or you take none. I'm not sure. Either way, it doesn't matter because the mech is in forced withdrawal. Okay. Right? Because you're over, I think you're over half of your structure and your torso is destroyed. Correct. Yeah. Which is exciting. So uh, maybe not dead, but in forced withdrawal. I know when you build up two points of heat too, that's super exciting. There you go. Mark them with a little forced withdrawal action. Um... He also took seven. Yeah. He took, yes, yeah, so he's gonna make a piloting check at plus two. So he needed a six or better. A five, he falls down, Dan. Oh, this is glorious. <laughs> this is glorious. Uh, so how he the takes. Tides have turned. Uh, so his falling damage is equal to his punch damage, which is punch damage, three, I think, right? Um, so he's gonna fall. And I'm going to roll for location. All right. Okay. He takes three points to his torso. Is that it? Is he, that does it? he die? <laughs> yes. It's so good. It's so good. You couldn't even script it. Uh, I just wanted one win. I've been losing left, right, and center, but no, it's fine. It's fine. Love oh, the dice. How the dare dice. you? Do not, do not wish it to be so. How man. dare you? Do not wish it to be so. I, I do I feel like I wouldn't have won anyway. Why even not? even with its condition that you between... would have tore that thunderbolt apart. No, with the vindicator being almost crippled, almost crippled, I, you would have next two turns you just would have been basically taking both of those guys out. It's an unfortunate series of events. It is what it is. Explosions rip across the battlefield. Uh, By the way, I'm never playing battle tech again. Never playing battle tech again. <laughs> Dan is done with wargaming. Uh, we will be doing bingo on the channel next. <laughs> Uh, and that is oh. that. But I think this is where we're gonna wrap this one up. Yeah. Is that, is that so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna pretend like I'm gonna win. All right. Well, guys, stick around for the recap. We will be right back. All right, here we are on the battlefield of Amnesty. Uh, this, uh, this unknown pirate force, random raiders, uh, have at least for the short term, maybe fought off or at least battled back the Kentucky Charger mercenary defenders. Although really, Dan, I think if we would have kept playing this out, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which way it would have gone. Dan's fairly convinced the Thunderbolt would have made minced meat uh, out of those out of those two units. I will say with the jammed auto cannon, that was sort of the, the kiss of death. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because it ha had you had two four-point shots out of the Ultra AC and an ERPGC, I think the Thunderbolt would have been hard-pressed to, to really survive. But that said, it was fun to get back into uh, some bat repping. I really love the override system. I love how fast it plays, but the mechs still feel very beefy and survivable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the vehicles integrate very easily. Not a lot of com complexity there, really. Um, so looking forward to doing more. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll get some battle armor and infantry in one again it is, soon. I would say probably my favorite way to play. Your favorite because, way to play? Yeah, because it's got the distinctiveness between the classic and... I don't know, we kind of harped on the last couple ones with the classic, but... People got very mad at us. Again, I, a lot of people missed the part that it was raw. We weren't using any kind of substitute rules or anything like that. It was right. straight from the pages, right. nothing to... to go through. Right, so. and there are a lot of optional rules in Classic that you can use in house rules that even we built at DFA, right, that yeah. help make that game go faster, but um, I still, this Consider this a house rule. Yeah. 
Uh, basically, yeah. yeah. Consider this the ultimate <laughs> award-winning, critically acclaimed it's, console. It's a good amalgamation of both of them, I think. I think so, too. I, I enjoy And I do it. like Alpha Strike. I do like Classic. So I don't want anybody to be like, ah, you're a hater. I'm not a hater on Classic. It's just you. It's a lot of the posts were right that Classic is good when you have all of those options. Mm -hmm. You take that away, and yeah. that's what you get. Somebody reminded me that in Classic, we forgot to do the... Um, the 20 point damage like fallover rule like you know in classic when you take 20 points you have to make a piloting check and, like every battle report they reminded me you know who you are uh, <laughs> <laughs> and like the, the so that was like an intentional thing on our part so maybe maybe a a house rule of sorts but like when you're falling over all the time in classic like with four or five pilots it's so awful yeah yeah um, as Dan witnessed tonight. Yes. It's so good. <laughs> oh. And I like and and I like this mo this 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 option because you still have those, the, yeah, you those saw nostalgic those moments. moments where those moments Yeah. That that this stuff happens and everybody laughs and gets mad, but in the end it's just a game. It's just a game, Dan. Yeah. It's just a <laughs> <laughs> You know, if it wasn't so heavy, these weren't like stainless steel tables. They're, they're not. They're steel. not. It's, but it's wood, Dan. I think they're made out of iron oak. It's true. It's enchanted. <laughs> um, so this was fun. We're going to do more. We're going to have several more before the end of the year. And then we may also do like a short how to play tutorial. Cool. Um, I'm know, in. To kind of wrap all this up. You know, maybe a, maybe a series of sort of shorter videos to talk through, you know, movement and shooting and, and how it all how it all works. But it is pretty intuitive, especially if you played the Mech Warrior Destiny um, combat um you know which is which is way more abstract than this but it just it, i'm just starting out here out there yeah. right let's make a time lapse how to make these maps because i have is, one you know it's so funny people ask me that all the time i'm glad you brought that up we have one it's in our okay. hobby tutorials playlist okay but it's so old <laughs> it's kevin and i look so young in this in this video uh, maybe we should do uh, it again. someone made a joke about my hairline oh. i posted it up they're like man your hairline's looking good in that video i was like you know what <laughs> Five years, okay? Uh, in your 40s, it does a lot, guys. It does, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, maybe we will do a new one. Maybe we'll do a, a refresh one. That's in the new studio. We can have all the multiple cameras kind of going, and and I think that and that's not a bad idea. I agree. I love it. I do, too. I love it. Let us know what you think, guys. Uh, we, you know, Let us know what you think about the new override system. Let us know what you thought about this battle. Let us know what you think about a tutorial or a battle grid setup video, a refreshed one. Um, so we would be interested to hear all your thoughts and comments on that. Uh, additionally, Aries Games and Minis Dan. Yeah. All right. Your number one stop for all things battle tech. Uh, the box sets, uh, you can get battle, these like neoprene mats, you can get uh, hardware studios buildings, you can get uh, X marks, you can get all sorts of stuff. Lots of stuff on this table. Uh, you can get over at Harry's Games and Minis. Uh, also, last but not least, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. It is free. For the love of God, just hit the like button and leave a comment. Just say anything. Say, Dan, I hate you. Uh, anything you want. Um, and that's okay if you hate me. I'm okay. Most okay. people dislike me, I think. I think they like you and Tom. Really? Yeah. I don't think people hate you. I didn't or dislike that. you. I, said dislike I don't, I don't think Hate's that's a true. very strong word. I don't think that's true. Uh, Otherwise, yeah. you wouldn't get any views. People, you, people get really angry at me when I say things bad about classic. Um, really uh, angry. But that's because you respond to... I shouldn't respond to the comments. Like, yeah, I, I could, but... Kevin says that all the time. He's like, yeah. why do you respond to the comments, Aaron? I'm like, I don't know. I can't help myself. You should respond to the ones that are genuinely nice. And the ones I respond that to those, uplifting. too. Yeah, but the ones that are like have negative, nah, let them be. What do you... Everybody, leave it in the comments whether I opinion. should respond to the comments. <laughs> <laughs> and while you're at it, head on over to Patreon. Uh, as little as a dollar a month, thank you so much to all of our awesome patrons at every tier. Uh, you guys are amazing, and thank you for keeping the lights on here at the studio. Uh, and that said, Dan, it was a wonderful battle. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, dude, every time. Uh, I think that, you know, we'll scale it up a little bit. You know, next time, maybe we'll do some more units. Gotta get Tom back. He's got a... Got kind of a ghost bear force ready to go. Okay. All right. I've got. I've got some see brand new yeah, yeah. sort of light. Okay. Uh, not sort of like sword, like S word <laughs> yes, of yes, light. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they're. Uh, I think. I think we might do a, a little a little mini campaign there. So we'll see. All right. We'll see. But that's it, guys. We're all wrapped up. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Indefinite.